Hello, hello! Ellen Woodbridge here, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia. Happy holidays! We are almost there. It's the 22nd here in Australia. All I have left is present wrapping. I've bought all my vegetables for Christmas Day today. Nothing that's going to go off, all my roast vegetables. And I am ready to do some card making. So what I thought I would do today is mix some old or going, but it's still available in Australia, and some new products. So I have grabbed out the Magic in This Season paper, and I will show you. I've grabbed out like four patterns. Hey Susan, hey Sylvia, and someone else popped in too. Hello Miss Donna. Thank you guys so much for joining me live. Bev, Jeannie, wow. Marjean, Kathy, thank you so much. Hello Miss Deb. Deb, I meant to say thank you for my cards. They were beautiful. But these are the magic in this... Uh, these are the magic in this night papers that I have grabbed so these two are very similar but different ones are smaller but I also have like my favorite um, pattern on the back the brocade pattern on the back so I thought I need some thank you cards I need some birthday cards so I thought why not grab out the fantastic brand new coming many messages stamp set and show you how it works thanks for sharing Bev I appreciate that hey Mary Jane hey Trudy hey Roz I think I've grabbed everyone so far um, yes and this is one single stamp set and it comes with I have grabbed out a lot of things today it comes with one singular die so I grabbed that. Hey, Linda. The other thing I grabbed out because I love the font. So I didn't grab it out for the imagery. But I love the sentiments in the sweet ice cream. Now, these two stamp sets and the die I just showed you are available on the 5th of January uh, to customers in our January to June mini catalog. But if you wanted to sign up and be a part of my Wicked Woodies team, you can grab them right now. And they will arrive before customers arrive um, because you've ordered them early. So I think that's all I have. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my Facebook or like and follow my Facebook page and subscribe on YouTube so other people can discover me as you all have yes it was my prize patrol gift to linda and then i had to buy the whole suite because that's how it works once you get a stamp set you need everything that goes with it sorry i just had a moment that i thought i couldn't see my earring don't worry i would have been crying had i have lost one of these earrings but anyway whole nother story whole nother story so let's get flipped around and let's these are going to be really simple cards but i'm just want to show you um how the many messages works and how we can make some really simple cards hey melissa thanks for joining um i can't even remember what color we were linda were we number two I don't know so how are you girls going for Christmas all I've got to do is I've got to go and buy some alcohol not to get crazy but I just want to I wear what we normally drink whoops which is my husband and I drink Canadian Club um, and our last six packers in the fridge so I need to go and buy more of that and then at Aldi tomorrow they have and no one else get to my local Aldi before I do um they have um oh let me flip this as well they have uh, pre-mixed cocktails and I like to get the um I'll think of the think of it um 
Oh my god, mojito. The mojito one. So, hello, Miss Heidi. I'm not waving to you in your driveway. Hello, Miss Mary. Hello, Miss Jenny. I think, yeah, I thought we would too. I know. I hear you, Linda. I'm so glad that I I think I'm finished uh, my Christmas cards. And I think my count got up to like 170. Hello, Miss Pamela. Pamela, I still haven't heard from you. I sent you a message and a be in your requested messages folder um, because I have had mail returned to me that I sent to you. So if you could reply to my message, I would appreciate it. Sorry, turning off the light and I'm I'm limping at the moment. Um I um I fell over yesterday and normally I fall over and I'm fine, but I've fallen over and I've hurt my foot and I don't know if I hurt myself in the falling over or the getting up. Because those of you whoops those of you Deb and Heidi that are here and know me in real life. I sent you a message on Facebook. I'm okay, Heidi. I was in the kitchen. Like I didn't I didn't realise I'd hurt my foot till later. Hey, hey, Miss Jamie. So yeah, I fell over in the kitchen and I got up myself. I was all fine. No one needed to help me. But now I've got a really sore foot. It's okay. I've been to Aldi today and done my shopping as I mentioned earlier and I'm moving around I'm just I'm just limping so how's holidays Heidi and Jamie oh awesome so what I want to do to start off with is stamp and die cut our many messages and what I think with these Oh, please excuse that little phlegm in my throat. Yeah, I can only imagine. Which foot? I've been to Aldi twice. I heard I hurt my right foot. It's okay. I'm, I can still drive. But it's not that bad. I'm just limping. It's fine. I failed down. Yes, I fell down. Just in the kitchen, my shoe got caught in the grout in my slate it's okay no overreacting people this is normal Ooh, carpets cleaned very nice um so i thought if i stamp it in black on white and then die cut them out then i can accessorize with color on these black and whites and then i can they'll go in with the other ones so that's what i think i'm going to do so i'll grab down a piece of do I have a large enough scrap actually mm, oh I may have a large enough no I may not it's long enough it's not wide enough um yes so we're going to use that and I'm going to use the stamparatus to stamp this stamp so then I have Hmm, I wonder if this will be big enough. Nope, I need to try to use my scraps, I tell you, and I can't. Uh, yes, Susan, you will have to order this bundle. It is great. You've got messages of all kinds on there. So it's great just to grab a piece of pattern paper, chuck an embellish, uh, chuck a sentiment on it. You can pop an embellishment, a piece of ribbon, some coloured cardstock. Like there's, there's so much you can do, but your sentiment is pre-done. Now I'm going to have to do some measuring. So it is a red rubber stamp set. And let me... Oh, maybe I do need to go a lot bigger than what I thought. So let me just cut this in half and then I'll just play from there. Half a piece of paper. Then we're not wasting it, hey girls? Yes, it is larger than what it looks. I like the dyes because, yes, they will work with other sentiments as well. So you can have blank 
a blank lot of dies cut and you can keep your sentiments in a bowl but you know where I'm going to keep them. I'm going to keep the sentiments in one of my uh, clear medium envelopes that I use for everything. So let's move my paper to the side because it's doing my head in at the moment and grab out my Stamparatus which involves closing my laptop almost anyway I think I'm going to treat myself to a new messy mat for Christmas you know it's not as if I don't have heaps of messy mats but um, this one is getting rather grungy And no, I'm not anal about having a straight screen either. Okay, so piece of paper in the Stamparabas. So this is Whisper White that is being discontinued uh, because our manufacturer is no longer in business. So we are changing over to Basic White. Um, and I will tell you when Basic White is available there I don't know I haven't ordered any for customers recently but um, oh yes you do need a whole half a oh no no I can do it that way I'll do it that way okay right sorry put that right in the corner put that there I don't know I think I'm really squeezing oh, helps if it goes to the top I really feel I'm going to be squeezing this but oh, that's filthy can you see how dirty that is you might um, flip I might just get a whole new lid because obviously I need to clean that flap Don't mind me here, girls. Don't mind me. I am thinking that it's not going to work that way. Kind of what I want to do is put it in the middle here because stamping right up against the edges just isn't going to work. And I'm going to be a lot more successful doing it this way. So I think I will grab my memento because then that way if I want to color the white paper with my blends and change the color I can right you can see my thought processes happening here girls there was so much planning that went in here uh, yes it is so versatile as I said I can stamp it on white and color it any color I want Thank you so much for sharing, Sonia. I do appreciate that and I love new people uh, finding me, which is wonderful. Now, I am just popping my stamp set under the flap because that keeps it straight and it does make it easier. Oh, I didn't rub this off. That's okay. This will definitely be a two-stamp kind of thing okay I'm just rubbing this over getting just make making sure that's all butted up in the corners now what I really need is the glasses cleaner so no that's not gonna glide like I thought I know what I get my microfiber cloth I just want to be able to glide and get all of these places. Okay, how do we reckon we would have gone? Oh, not very good in this area. Good thing about the Stamparatus. That's okay, we'll get that better next time. Might have to perform some stamp... CPR. Okay. 
Okay. See how we go this time. That's all still in the corners. That hasn't moved. I'm using as much pressure as what I can there. And then this is where I need like a whiteboard eraser or something just to get that nice even pressure because it is a large stamp. But when you look at the effort you put in to stamp it, to how many sentiments you get it's awesome I'm quite happy with that look the star and the heart aren't perfect oh that's okay not a problem Miss J not a problem I just want to get that heart and this star that's better okay so I'm going to take this off And lots of stuff has come off my microfiber cloth. Might chuck that at the door of my room. And I've got a load of towels that need to be done later. So I will do that. I will leave this on here. I may just grab one of our sheets. So then the ink transfers onto there. Now, however much I would love to use my mini stamp and cut and emboss machine, this die will not fit through it. I guarantee you. Way, way, way too big. So, we need to grab our... Sorry, our stamp and cut and emboss machine, the big one. Let me just pop that in there. And give it a cut so base plate thin die plates so I've got plate one and two and then I've got two plate threes and I'm going to open this this is only the second time it's been opened so bear with my fingers Howdy, howdy, Miss Cindy. Ah, okay, cool. Good to know, Donna. Good to know. So, I am making the very large assumption that this goes here. So, I reckon if you line up the hearts and the stars, everything else lines up properly. What do you reckon about that, guys? But I see what you mean, Donna. I really do. But I've got that star. Whoa. Okay, star, heart, star, heart. I'm almost there. Because I suppose they've put them there as registration marks really for us to use oh Donna I do see what you mean but I think they have put them in really good places and hmm star I'm almost there You can't tell me left and right because we're very different. Hmm. Okay, I think we're good. All the words look fairly good. The stars and the hearts look good. Ah, so I've gone a different ways because I reckon if you line up these four fairly well, you get everything else. And I think I've got everything. I think. We'll see. Hey, Debbie, thanks for joining. So I'm going to use my trick where I pop the top of the plate in and then I hold the plate down as everything catches. So then the plate doesn't move. 
And yes, there's going to be lots of cracking because there's lots of die cutting. So that wasn't too bad. Just one pass. And let's see what we have come up with here. I'm pretty happy with that. That star's perfect. They all came out cleanly, which is a good thing. Look, the stars and the hearts aren't perfect, but the words are pretty good. So, thinking of you with sympathy and prayers, hoping your day is full of love, laughter and joy. I like that one. Um, hooray, it's your birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Um, your kindness means more than you could ever imagine. I'm so happy to celebrate these moments with you. That's a good birthday one. Um, the thank you ever so much. That's a nice one. That's a nice little postage stamp. Hoping that coordinates with our postage stamp punch. Okay. Oh, happy day. Just wanted to say... I'm thinking the rest of these can go in my bag. Ah, uh, the sheet to use as a template. That's a good idea, but only, oh, the Be Brave never came out. But you can keep the sheet as a template, but only if you don't move the... Only if you don't move the stamp in the Stamparatus. Yeah. So it'd be if you wanted to stamp something individually. Rather than stamping the whole lot, you could just stamp it individually, I assume, Jay. Okay, so that's all of them in a baggie. And I think... I will store these in the stamp set case so then I know where they are but I don't think I'll be keeping the template at this stage I will cut this bit off and use that and the rest of it will be scrap but I'll keep that over there till later Yes, you could. You could do it both ways, Jamie. You absolutely could. You definitely have uh, both options. Die back on the sheet. And uh, when I was organising my dies after I spoke to you girls, I was previously using alcohol to get um, my permanent marker off and it was still leaving a halo and I found um, orange oil um, the like sticky remover orange oil from the cleaning aisle uh, worked really well in Australia it's called orange power um, it smells amazing I love it uh, but that got the permanent marker off really really well okay so I, I love this colour. It's a shame it's got spiders on it. So, simple, simple cards. I am going to make these nine and a half. I'm just going to cut these up because I really want to get this paper used. So, this is like half a centimetre smaller than a card front eh, it will move I will tell it to move stay there please yeah it would but magic erasers are really messy in my world so I just use the orange oil my craft room smelt amazing and still does and um, yeah so, 
out of that not quite uh, piece of 12 by 12 paper. Must have just been missing one strip, but I have four of these card fronts. I kind of want to use this floral one because I like it, but I don't love it. So if I chop it, I have to make it into cards, right? And then I can use this as a mat uh, with another colour around it. And I'm assuming I will use this purple. And I will have to look up um, whether this is uh, Rich Razzleberry. I think it's Rich Razzleberry, I want to say. And I can um, mat it on a Rich Razzleberry card base. And then I'm going to have scraps to make a scrappy card. Hello, Miss Shelley. Oh, yes, I did. Oh, my God. Okay, so Jamie and my friend Renee had had a blocked ear. And she felt like there was water sloshing in her ear. So she went to the doctor. Doctor looked in her ear. I, I'm, I'm sort of embellishing some of this story because I haven't actually spoken to her. So I don't know what the doctor said when they looked in her ear, but they syringed her ear. I love that feeling. I'm a really weird person. I love getting my ears syringed. Best feeling ever. And out pops a live spider that was living in her ear canal. So I'll just let everyone think about that. A live spider living in her ear canal. Oh, the doctor did say that. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I don't know if I had fully read the post, but I saw the photo and sort of scrolled on and went, yeah. Yes, I get blocked ears all the time because I have extremely small ear canals. Uh, Blackberry Bliss, my favourite purple. Oh yes, Miss Cindy. So we don't know whether she bought it from, she acquired it down here because she has recently moved from out of state. So we're not sure where she acquired the spider, but the spider certainly made itself known. So yeah. That was a bit scary. Uh, if you were my rich Blackberry Bliss. Right. Because all my friends love purple and if they don't love purple, they know. Oh my God. Yeah. Spider, she says she nearly died and she, oh my God. Sleeping with earplugs. Maybe she needs to ask to get the house sprayed. I would be. So I'm at least going to need three of these. And then I'll let you guys choose another random colour for our Harlequin background. So... I'll let you choose a colour for our Harlequin while I do these card bases. And would you believe I have brand new Blackberry Bliss ribbon that we can use on these. Uh, do we want land some landscape cards? Some portrait cards? Thinking landscape cards might be the way to go. working out which way I was scoring and which way I was cutting. Sorry. Score. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't like they. Those they people. No. They can go eat all the spiders in their sleep themselves. 
those. I, I told you guys the other week that I was in bed watching Instagram stories, as one does before they go to sleep. And this spider just crawls across my doona that's almost up to my neck. And yeah, David couldn't work out what I was trying to do at like one o'clock in the morning. So I'm just trying to skill, kill a spider. Probably came in from our washing. Who knows? But you girls haven't given um, me a colour yet. Still waiting for a colour. with the Wapo Huntsman living up there. Now Huntsman spiders can be the size of a dinner plate guys but they're totally harmless. She likes him, me, nope. Uh, well that means I totally cut that wrong. So now I only have five card fronts. Or maybe I'm making an odd size card. I'm apparently making an odd size card. Oh, I may keep that because I may use it. So I think this will then be the complete size almost of a card front. So I can still use it. It just won't be the proper size. Oh, yeah. Well... Um, in the cleanup from my birthday a couple of weeks ago, um, someone in my household who would not have seen the said spider almost got bitten by a red bat. Came very close. Uh, well, I hope the Golden Girls listen. That for those who don't know, the Golden Girls are um, Jamie's chooks. All girls, gorgeous. They're gorgeous, gorgeous things. Hey, Jay, I meant to ask you on Saturday. Have you still got the peacock? Does the peacock still live at your residence or did the peacock move on? Because she had this non-pet wild peacock that used to come and play with the chickens and think it was a chicken it was awfully cute and a gorgeous peacock i love peacocks yes 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 just before all the restrictions came down we've um reverted in our restrictions because unfortunately uh one of our Airplane workers did the wrong thing, so we do have a cluster currently, but numbers today were down to eight only, so it was 15 yesterday, eight today, um, So and that's in our whole state. Yay, Glinda! Oh, that's so sad! Oh, Buddy found a lady. I'm so glad Buddy found a lady friend. But, oh, that's so sad. There's no more Buddy in the Ramsey household. Oh, so sad. Okay, I'm going to get gluing. Otherwise, we will get nowhere today. Yes, I will miss seeing his photos. Seemed like such a friendly chap. Someone you can happily have around. Did he used to eat the girl's feed? I did wonder if he ate the girl's feed. So I'm not a particular fan of this um, floral pattern. Just in case anyone wondered. That's why it's getting used. Because I'm not a fan. So I'm going to use it. And then I don't need to look at it. Now, let's see how this looks. So I'm just thinking, just centering it. Oh, I've got to show you. So, just, you know, tangent. My gold gilded leafing container is now empty. 
I found an awesome container at my $2 shop to put the leafing in. So, not that I'm going to open it because I'm not that silly. Yes, I was, but we have been at zero, Susan. So, yeah, this is an outbreak um, of cases in our state. We are in a totally different world to you guys in the US. But I found the perfect little small but deep enough container that I can dip projects in, do the gilding, use um, a paintbrush to get it off. And yeah, I know. But we have been very strict here in Australia and my husband was um, horrified that I didn't wear a mask at the shops but with my ankle or with my foot it's not in my ankle with my foot and wearing a mask and hobbling around the shops I don't think my um, patients would have um, been very nice and I don't think I would have spoken to my husband nor the people at the shop very nicely so it was for the best for everyone but then when I know about half the people were wearing them and the shop wasn't very busy was it Heidi if Heidi's here she went there today as well but it wasn't terribly busy oh I know oh Donna yes so that's why I got a container for it. Could you imagine Louisa covered in the gold leaf? Oh my God, she would be so pretty. But yeah, no. So yeah, it will be messy. Uh, but I think it's going to be fun. I did really want to use my mini machine today. And I've pulled out lots of other die sets if we do get to use the sweet treat is that what it's called the sweet ice cream set but I'm not sure that we will because what I'm sitting here making eight cards and I've had zero color requests girls zero color requests for the argol the argol paper or no sorry we said it was harlequin the harlequin paper is just gray so I do need colour requests. I can use any colour. Even ones that I'm not particularly fond of. But I need a colour people. You girls are failing me. Yeah, but which green? You say green, but you're not telling me which green. And no, there is not a witch green, red. Okay. Yeah, but they're Christmas colours. Kind of, I'm not over Christmas. Because I bought new Christmas decorations yesterday. I bought a little fat Santa. And I bought two soldiers. The colour on the floral paper. So we've got a pretty peacock. And we have, I want to say pumpkin pie, but I just need one singular colour. Cherry cobbler, nutcrackers. Well, I don't know if they are nutcrackers. I suppose they are, but not like the nutcracker that actually opens that I got. They're just little moulded plastic ones I found at the $2 shop that I can guarantee were not $2. <clears throat> Poppy Parade, Cherry Cobbler, Poppy Parade. I can use Poppy because Poppy is not a very... Christmassy, Christmassy red. It is definitely more of an orangey red. Okay. So I've done all these. I have turned off 
a little heater because of course my house is misty moonlight <gasps> poppy why well, can do one poppy parade one misty moonlight okay yeah uh, misty moonlight do i have a card base no that's not misty moonlight that would be uh, oh look i even have a card base that i prepared mm, that looks wider than the card base i think i can accommodate all of these things I will keep my scraps because I may well use them like under the um, under the what do you call it? Okay, so I have cherry cobbler, poppy parade, misty moonlight, pretty peacock. Okay, let me see if I have. I'm so gonna miss pretty peacock. Oh my word, miss it so much. And then, because we've used black in all the paper, I can use my pearls. Now, this paper that I'm using is actually still available in Australia. Still available, which I love. So we can stop with the colours now. Just let me scroll up and see if there was anything else. Yes, because Cindy never came back and told me which green will go cherry cobbler. I'll do two pretty peacocks because I'm cutting this in half and I love the colour. And then I may have a pretty... Oh, no. Hang on. I'll have to put one back because we're only doing four of those cards. But that's okay. But I do like leaving one card front because then future Ellen always thanks past Ellen for leaving a card front there and it just makes her life easier in the future. So it's never a bad thing just leaving one card front or the perfect size scrap or anything like that. I already have four colours, sorry Glenda. The girls got in before you. Okay, that can go back and cherry cobbler. Yeah. See, future future Ellen is very or now Ellen is very thankful to past Ellen for having a card front there. I know, right? I know. Look at the difference. I don't think I've ever looked at the difference between Cherry Cobbler and Poppy Parade. They couldn't be any different in the tones of red, could they? Okay, let's get these babies stuck on and we may need to look at some sentiments from the other set. We'll line all our sentiments up and see what I've pulled out. And um, then I might as well batch and do all of this at the same time. So this is going to be a long one, girls. I don't apologise for it. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to pop in Thursday, which is Christmas Eve. Um, I've sort of cancelled my plans for Christmas Eve night. It's going to go over to some family, friends, places. But I think we'll chill and watch the virtual uh, Vision Australia Christmas Carols, which is who David works for, actually. Oh, thank you, Jamie. But, you know, it's it's still going to be 10 cards. How long have I been on? Oh, 45 minutes. I've stamped. I've gone, yeah, I'm not doing too bad. Not for eight cards. You're right. You're right. But Crush Curry, it is a colour I love, Glenda, but I already had all my colours. And I'm not going to be using the other colours. But if you would like, 
I can come on like between Christmas and New Year and do some of these like use your stash kind of um kind of card making videos because one I'll have time on my hands hopefully and two I want to use up the pattern paper I love and I need cards in my stash for um cards in my stash for next year's birthday cards because that is pretty much oh look at that that greeny blue is perfect um pretty much the next thing on my list besides some team stuff is getting my january birthdays the labels printed the cards pulled and collated in an envelope and written and sent so yeah i know i know we were talking about that on the weekend so i don't know did you guys want me to do this and you do this with me i can um i can grab the scraps out of this and show you some things i can do with the scraps i tend to like to make these cards a bit simpler um, like I am now color base sentiment and maybe some kind of embellishment um, that's pretty much where I'm going now I'm not sure about these colors girls but I'm going with it because it's black you would love that margin because see I've got all these scraps from today that I won't get rid of but we'll have to do something with those Okay, right. Yeah, I'm not sure about that poppy parade, but we're going to go with it. We are going to go with it because I don't even think I have any cherry cobbler ribbon, you know. Okay, and it's only I'm not sure about it because all we've got is black and colour at this stage so that's our mini card so the sympathy card i think i might make this smaller skinny card see thinking of you with sympathy and prayers quite like that i know they're looking plain at the moment but it doesn't matter what I put on what, really. Oh, look. Oh, I had seven. That's okay. Hooray. So that's five birthday cards. And two thank you cards. So this one we were going to see if I could. And I don't have anything. Oh, I do. I've got the stitch shapes that are oval. But we're going to grab my postage stamp to see. Although the postage stamp is significantly bigger significantly bigger but you can see it still coordinates quite well so I may thinking what color I may have to go the pretty peacock and I did say I had a scrap but I've got a scrap at the back that is perfect go there this can go in here so the good thing about that messages dies they are made to kind of coordinate with some punches and dies that we already have so let's 
Let's look at this. So just go for it, Ellen. Just go for it. I will put this bit on dimensionals because I think that needs it. Bless you. Oh, bless. Lots of sneezing happening in my house. Oh. Scissors. No, they're my good. They're my good scissors. I want my utility scissors. Yes, my scissors all have names and purposes. If you've been around for a while, you'll realise why. Oh, nice. Oh, my God. That's what I need to do. I need to go through the toy room and we're donating a whole lot of stuff, I think, to the boys' old OT because she's paediatric. Um, girl and we need to go through and see what we want to keep for visitors and grandchildren and all of that kind of thing which isn't out of the realm because we already have a 10 year old grandchild um, and then the rest we will see what she wants for her new practice and then we'll donate but it's good Vinny's is um, taking donations Agreed. No, Margie, we will make the poppy parade work. Trust me. And I'll even grab down like my colour swatch so we can play with the poppy parade, okay? I Trust me, we'll get there. We will get there. Do I have any? I don't even think I have any black ribbon, which is a bit of a... Mm, and I don't have any ribbon in the colours that we have. But I do have plenty of white ribbon. So never fear, we will make this work. Yeah, higher up. I got the width right. Just need it higher up. Still higher up. My word. Okay, that's perfect. That's good. Um, I still don't love it. Now, what is the the purple? Are uh, the it's Cajun craze. I can tell you I don't have any embellishments in Cajun crepes. But let's see if I have some scraps of paper that I can make work for something. Do you have a few scraps? So I'm just thinking if we can combine all of this, these colours and papers, we can make it work. I'm trying not to use too much time, but I think once I have scraps of colours out and stuff like that, we, yeah, that's straight. We can make it work. Just thinking, having it shorter, but I just kind of like having that other colour to lift that dark, um, the dark pretty peacock off the black page. I like that. Um, Get that roughly straightened in the middle as much as we can. This is me we're talking about after all. Okay, so I have that one dealt with while that dries. Now the hooray, that would look nice with, I think, a piece of the Cajun craze again under it. Just going in a linear fashion. I think we're going to be using lots of papery scrap. 
cloth strips. Oh, that must have had, no, that piece needs to go in recycling. It had a score line in it. The rest of it should be fine now, hopefully. Okay, is everyone still here and with me? What are you thinking of where I'm going so far? Quite like that. So the hooray lifted, that flat on the card, or that flat on the card and it all lifted. Okay. Right. Let's go, Billy O. Just need this here so we don't get too gluey even though I am replacing this for Christmas for my Christmas present how sad and then we can do the gluing of these two cards together Let's see if I can cut a straight line. You like it? Cool. Great. Good to know I'm on the right path as such. Too long. Yeah, and that is totally not straight. Okay, we're leaving that exactly as is. And this will this piece will be glued directly onto the card. And then I still have some um, the pearl. What are they called? What are the pearls called, girls? Just try and cover that piece of glue. It's not going to work. Wipe it off. No one knows it's there. No one saw it. It's all good. Now, this one I'm going to That's pretty even. Uh, new sheet of dimensionals because we finished the old sheet. I think these are the ones out of the paper pumpkin kit actually that's something I have to finish as well I haven't uh, quite finished the joy to the world kit so that might be something I come back to over the uh, Christmas break and play with as well because that kit is still available and a great way to start your stash of cards while you have everything run. The iridescent pearls. Thank you. Hey, Delinda. Oh, the rain changed to snow. Oh, it won't be sticking. That's sad. I'd love you to have a white Christmas. Uh, I'm thinking I may change the orientation of this card just on a whim. Because that fits so nicely. Portrait. Right, we could use pearls like normal pearls as well, but I shall not be, not right now. Um, mum, where did I put that scrap? Well, that is way, although if I had a scrap like that in the middle and then hanging it off the sides that just gives it a bit more because these are such small sentiments you want to give them a bit more um weight on the card so just even by making taking that scrap piece rather than making it skinnier making it wider we can do that and you can do the same things with punch shapes 
um, but it just happens I'm using my scraps here. Um, yeah, weave, well, you can see I've got longer sleeves on today. It's uh, quite cool. It's been raining here basically all week. Um, so we can't kind of get away from the rain. It's meant to rain for the rest of the week pretty much. So I think we may have a rainy uh, Christmas day, which isn't such a bad thing, really. Now, is that whole piece going to be too much? I think it might be. But just let's... Actually, that piece is a nice size. Ooh, I like. Wow. Yeah, but it's just, as you say, it's a matter of will it stick. So just a few little dots of glue approximately in the middle. So you can see how quickly these are coming together just using the scraps um, on the table from making the cards. Now. I think that's fairly, note I say, fairly centred. Did I just move that? Possibly may have. Okay. Dimensionals. May even cut some edges. Um, so then we can really support the whole sentiment because we don't want those ends to get bent or caught at all in these pieces will be perfect for it so even even though I normally leave the edges till the end if there is a reason for me to use the edges like this I will certainly um, snip them while I can so you don't need to fill the whole area but you just want to support that end. And I haven't done that even, but you know what? It's a handmade card. It's going in my stash. Someone will, and I still am buying, I still am. Oh no, Donna. Wow. Um, I still am receiving birthday cards, so I haven't taken a photo of they're just over to the side here sitting on my uh, vertical blinds i have a beautiful collection of birthday cards and then at my dining room table for those that have seen the pictures um i have a nice garland there from my friend heidi who was in here earlier and i have all my christmas cards sitting out there and sadly i don't think my christmas bush that I was gifted from a friend will um, make it to Christmas Day, sadly. But, hey, I've been able to enjoy it while I've been in there up until now. Okay. So, this is going to be as centred as it can be and as straight. Three cards down. We're getting there. Okay. Now, I do have, and I don't know whether this will work. We shall see. We shall see. Because this happy birthday is so elegant. Whether I, yes, I'm just going to pop that on a strip of the um, matching. Uh, what is it? Blackberry Bliss. But I may use pearls on this card okay tell me if i'm boring anyone and uh, kick me off because i'll just continue this without rabbiting on mind you my tummy's getting a bit hungry because <laughs> silly me at 10 o'clock took the photo did the post 
see you girls in two hours, blah, blah, blah. Didn't post the post, did I? So when I went to come on at 12 o'clock, it said, publish post. It's like, no. But anyway, so that's why I extended it by half an hour. I should have eaten in that time. But alas, I did not. I watched a YouTube video instead, as one does. Ah, what's for dinner at your house? Shouldn't do that until the glue's dry, should I? No, you should not. Okay. I'll leave that there then. And they're so happy to celebrate. I might whack on the other end. So then, you know, two for the price of one. Because that worked so well. Ooh, nice. I miss chicken. They are my only words. I miss chicken. A lot. I can eat chicken. Just, it's not worth the pain of digesting it. Okay, how did I go here? They're pretty even if I do say so myself. They're not too shabby. Meh. Sounds very nice. I just know that I've already grated some cheese. And I'll be having eggs and some cheese for lunch. It's the same lunch I have every day because I love it so much. I'm so sad and I'm so predictable. But hey, that's what happens, isn't it? It's a good thing for me to be predictable. I have lots of predictable and easy food. No, I definitely like it this way and look that's stuck there now so let's leave that there like that and then but I'm so happy to celebrate we can do this way and then the rest of it we can use for the long sentiment just need to take a hair off that okay that's good more dimensionals without cutting my finger would be preferable so what did everyone else have for dinner tonight or for lunch depending on where you are in the world. Yes. Now, the card I'm going to tackle first in these other cards is going to be the Poppy Parade card. You do know that because I need to tackle the one that's hurting my brain. no idea what my kids are watching so I do apologise if you can hear that well that's still not centred but that'll do okay and the sympathy one is this going to be too wide or is it going to be oh, it kind of looks weird having it the same width okay 
Now, I used all that pretty peacock, so let's just grab another scrap piece here and see what we can do. in there. Where's my mini trimmer? Ran away to join the circus. Paul Cube State. Ooh, nice margin. Now all of those things I can eat. I can eat pork, but I decline the macaroni and cheese even though it sounds yummy. Okay. Square this up a bit. What did I do with you? Yeah, I did do that. Okay. And just take off all the extra bits. Let's see how we look here. Is it too wide? Have a look. I think it is a little too wide. Just snip it down. I hate using this trimmer to do this bit, but right, all good, all done. Ooh, no. Okay, explain to me what crackers are for you. For crackers for me are uh, what you put in to dip. That's what I call crackers. So I'd love to hear what your definition of crackers are because biscuits are different in the US as well. know if I'll have fish tonight for dinner. Sounds nice. Okay, I'm going to leave that. Oh, I was just about to say I'll leave that there to dry and I knocked it. Pick it up with my scissors. And I'll leave that there to dry while I grab my iridescent pearls. Saltine crackers. That still doesn't have any reference for me, sadly. I don't know what saltine crackers are. Are saltines like saladas? I probably do have metallic scraps in the but it would mean I'd have to move the computer and I'm going to get the metallic in the iridescent pearls just wait I don't know why I have to live in an igloo it's so cold in here. I think that's enough. That looks really pretty, doesn't it? Love that. So it just lifts it because you've got that metallic shine. Now, are these carrying over or are these retiring? I'm having a bit of a conund like a quandary in my head because I know the blue ones are carrying over but I'm not sure and I'm kind of keeping the same layout two and three so just to draw your eye around these and because we've put everything on dimension it then just means that these are the same dimension as those. So, oh, 
the same again, 2 and 1. Uh, similar to salad. Sorry, phone call. I didn't take it. It was Heidi that was on earlier. I'll ring her back. And I think I will tackle that Poppy Parade card. And then what I will do, I will call this video done after that. And I'll do the rest in my own time. But I will share them. So for this one, I'm going to put them partially on there. Because this is the bit that I've popped up. I'm going to put the um, pearls on here. Look at all the pearls I'm using. This makes me happy. Although I do love them, I'm just happy to be using them up. Because, I know, I don't use a lot of black. And when I have, I've used other things. So for this one, I've done that. Then... For this sympathy one, I just need to pop this up. Thank you. Ah, okay, cool. Thank you, Donna. I'm always curious about your guys' differences in food. It's always interesting for me. Because, like, biscuits for us are, like, sweet. They're... I don't, they're cookies, but they're not cookies. I don't know, it's weird. So what do you call a cookie that's not a cookie? Is it still a cookie? This is what I need. These are the things I need to know. Because I have so many overseas beautiful people that come and hang with me. And I need to know all the things. And hopefully, yeah, what do you call cookies that aren't cookies? Because, I mean, we have cookies, but then we have other sweet biscuits that aren't biscuits. Oh, my, um, my laptop just went into... Oh, I've nearly been on for two hours, girls. I think I might come and tackle those other cards another day. But we've got the bases for them done. And what I'll do, this will be my Christmas Eve video. We will do these four cards, I promise. But we've started them. Because I do need to go. Because I need to eat. Because no one needs to. I was about to attach that like an embellishment. See, that tells me it's time to take a break and go. Okay, right. And then I can post all of these. I'm going to post all of these together in one blog post because they're gorgeous. I'm really, really happy with them, actually. Thank you, girls, so much. But all these products I think I've used today are available. So the oh these are not the new stamp set. So the many messages stamp set isn't quite available yet, uh, but it will be available to customers on the fifth of January. So we haven't got too too long to go till it's available, or you can sign up to be a part of my team. The Wicked Woodies, because I'm always looking for new um, oh, ginger snaps. Yeah, but like we... So so any other biscuits, you call them by their actual name. So like a Monte Carlo, you don't call a biscuit. You'll just... Because see, I'll say here's a biscuit or do you want a biscuit. You'd call it by its specific name. This is a whole conversation, guys. Seriously. So, we used the Mini Messages and the Messages Dyes Bundle, okay? And we... I'm not sure I understand. No, because I'm not talking to you, Siri. Um, we used the Stamparatus to stamp with this, and I will lay out 
the six cards that we made. The other thing we did use, we did use the iridescent pearls. Ah, thank you. I've just, look, I don't think I've done anything startling with the sentiments, really. I've just used scraps. That's the fun thing about it, isn't it? We've just used scraps. Sorry, I lost my own feed for a second, so I'm making sure I'm not missing out on any messages. So, so we did the happy birthday and that. So we also used the postage punch and we used one whole sheet of paper and I've got scraps left from that piece of paper as well. Why won't this open? Sorry girls. So Oh, yes, of course I want to accept that. Sorry, I'm, I will get this up and going. Make sure I'm not missing any questions. Ah, uh, digestives as biscuits. Yes, you've got that as well. I know, Donna, it's so hard. I, I find calling things different names incredibly yeah, but we all get there in the end and understand. But thank you so much. I actually really like these cards, even though I'm not a huge fan of this floral paper. This is the In Magic in the Night or Magic in This Night paper. This is actually Halloween paper, but is still available to purchase on our um giant year end closeout as well as the iridescent pearls and these two are almost here or you can sign up to my team more than happy i will be back to play with these four cards so i've made six cards start to finish in less than an hour and this one stamp one sentiment helped immensely and there was a lot of chitter chattering in there as well. So I'm really happy to have done six cards in an hour. I've got one thank you, one uh, sympathy, and the rest of them are birthday cards. So four birthday cards in my stash, which makes me happy as Larry. I just need to put some white inserts to write on the inside and then I'm ready to rock and roll so I will be back on Christmas Eve to see you and if you have any questions or you want the link to my shop it's in the description um, anything else just shoot me a message and I will be happy to help thanks girls bye